The EV9 concept that wowed audiences in November 2021 did it via its overwhelming presence, triangle-shaped wheels, and rear-hinged coach doors. To set expectations right off the bat, the coach doors will not make it to production. Sorry. However, Kia lead production car designer Tecoon Kim said the company's R&D and engineering departments are working on such doors in hopes they might become reality for some future vehicle. But did everything else from the concept make it? Pretty much. In profile, however, the EV9 is the most commanding. Riding on a stretched version of Hyundai Motor Group's EGMP dedicated EV platform, the EV9 is upright, boxy, and imposing, its low belt line, precise edges, and clean lines draw the eye. Adding to the restraint and tidiness of the design are the blacked out A pillars that give the side windows and front windshield a wraparound look. A 20 inch version of the triangle shaped wheels seen on the concept will be available, they'll be the smaller option, though, as the top choice will be the 21 inch pieces seen here. Around back, the constellation shaped lighting theme continues with vertically oriented tail lights and 3D elements that beg you to lean in and examine them more closely. There's a lot of Cadillac Escalade and Volvo going on here, and that's no bad thing. There will be a GT line model that, like on other Kias, will wear sportier duds than regular EV9S. The front, for instance, gets darker elements and more aggressive air vents along with a digital grill lighting pattern. Kia said the light show can be customized via an app. Dark trim replaces the chrome bits around the windows, and its wheel designs will for sure tie up more eyeballs. From the driver's seat, the EV9 offers a commanding view of what's ahead, and all the controls are easy to read and reach. The extra-long single panel that houses both the driver information cluster and main infotainment touchscreen ought to be a familiar sight if you've looked in the newest Telluride. Below that are a series of menu buttons that respond with haptic feedback, and below those are physical climate control switches and a volume scroll. Bless. Also available will be a color head-up display and a full display mirror, which uses the rear camera to project a view on the rear view mirror. The model we viewed sports second row captain's chairs, comfortable, as you'd expect, but these have an extra trick up their sleeves, they swivel 180 degrees to face the third row. Getting them to do so took some finagling on the Kia PR team's part, but once they were finished, you had what was essentially a mobile social pod. Unfortunately, those aren't coming to the U.S. Instead, we'll get available second row power adjustable seats with leg extensions, heating, and ventilation, essentially a first class seat. The second row seats will also get a relaxation mode, which we'll evaluate once it's time to drive it. The standard EV9 with the single electric motor will deliver about 215 horsepower and dual motor models, AWD, will make 379 horsepower and 516 LB Ford of torque and should make it to 62 miles per hour in 6.0 seconds. Like in the Genesis GV60, a boost button on the steering wheel will unleash about 516 LBFT of torque for about 10 seconds, making the acceleration experience more thrilling. Kia says the EV9 with the most powerful electric motor can launch to 60 miles per hour in 5.0 seconds, which is impressively quick for a seven-seater family SUV. We estimate the EV9 to cost between $56,000 and $73,000 depending on trim. Based on everything we saw, touched, and experienced, we'd say that's right on the money, which is also competitive with large three-row conventional SUVs. Despite the display car not being fully production ready, it's seemingly 99% there.